Hello again. You have now gone through the first step in the three-step idea evaluation process, the decision matrix analysis. So how did you find it? From the decision matrix, you must have shortlisted five ideas based on the final scores. So from these five ideas, there should be a way to further evaluate and pick two ideas with great potential. The second step in the idea evaluation process called paired comparison analysis helps you do just that. This tool helps you compare ideas in pairs. So simply stated, you compare one idea with the other and evaluate which of the two is better. That is why it is called paired comparison. Note that this comparison is based on your view or your current knowledge of the potential of both ideas. You may or may not have any actual data for your views, but at this stage, this much is fine. The combined score from the decision matrix analysis and the paired comparison analysis will help you decide which among your five shortlisted ideas has the most potential. Let's see the Excel template we are going to use for this analysis. Your facilitator will give this to you in class or you can download it from Edcast. Okay, now let's see how you use the Excel sheet. First, uh, list all your ideas as row labels. Uh, then list the same ideas as column headings as well. Let's start with the smoothie idea in the horizontal row. I will compare it one by one with the ideas in the vertical columns. Remember, the score is for the idea on the horizontal row. And what I will do is assign a value from minus 3 to 3. A score of 3 means that the idea in the horizontal row is much better than the idea on the vertical column. A score of 0 means that there is not much of a difference in the quality of the ideas in the horizontal row and the vertical column. A score of minus 3 means that the idea in the horizontal row is much worse than the idea in the vertical column. The green boxes are where you input the scores. The gray boxes automatically show the corresponding score for the idea it is being compared to. Yes, it does. So let us say I compare the smoothie idea to the cardboard furniture idea. I give it a score of 2 in the green box as the smoothie idea is better than but not dramatically better than the cardboard furniture idea. The formula in the template automatically gives a minus 2 in the row belonging to the cardboard furniture. It is exactly the opposite of the score I gave, implying that it is worse than the smoothie idea. The smoothie idea is then compared to the other ideas listed in the vertical column. So when compared to the Bluetooth idea, it is again given a score of 2. Uh, but when it is compared to the personalized tea idea, it is scored 3, as the smoothie idea, uh, in my opinion, is significantly better than the personalized tea. When compared to the travel website, I give it a score of 2 again. Note that the gray boxes represent the score of the other idea in the pair. Uh, for example, in the smoothie personalized tea pair, the smoothie idea score is 3. The opposite of the score is automatically given to the personalized T idea, which is minus 3. Similarly, the other green boxes need to be filled by assigning scores to all the pairs of business ideas. Remember that these scores are not assigned on the basis of any factors. I have assigned these scores based on my gut feel or instinct. When you do a paired comparison analysis for the ideas, go ahead and use your instinct. Now, I have scores from the paired comparison analysis. Remember, I ha already had scores from the decision matrix analysis. Now, we can calculate the final scores for each idea by adding the decision matrix and paired comparison analysis scores. The final scores will throw up the top two ideas in your list. From our examples, the scores of smoothie and the cardboard furniture business are the highest at 13.05 and 5.35. And so they are the top two ideas from the list. Remember, I had started with the idea bank with so many ideas and now I'm down to only two. Time to go to the next step in the idea evaluation process. You will use the 5Q exercise to identify 
your one top final idea. All the best.